Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Today's topic is on setting up workflows. I'll go over the basic workflows for follow-ups and collections and how to edit them. First, after you log into app.callpotential.com from the home page, click on Advanced Dashboard and then click on the Setup Workflow link. After you click on Setup Workflow, you will be taken to a page where all the workflows are, both collections and follow-ups. To add a completely new workflow and start from scratch, press the New Rule button. To edit one of them, click on it and you will be taken to a screen that looks like this. From here, you can add and delete automations, edit whether call potential will call, text, or email, and edit the amount of days before the needed date and days after the initial meeting. If you want to edit the wording of the text messages and emails that Call Potential automatically sends out, you can do that through the Setup Workflow Templates link, right below the Setup Workflow link on the Advanced Dashboard. Clicking on that link will bring up a screen similar to this one. To edit one of them, click on the Edit link to the right of the template name. This window will then pop up, and from here you can change up what the email or text message says. When you selected a variable for the template on the little window to the right of the message window, Call Potential will actually pull the information out and plug it right into the automated text or email. As you finish up, remember to press save. As you can see, these workflows save you time by automating what previously was all manual. Following up and calling for collections used to be a menial task. Now Call Potential automates most of it and gives you a lot more free time.